All right, thank you so much, John. Well, women's health care has been a huge topic as of late, and now researchers say a rare kind of uterine cancer is killing more women in America, black women in particular. Right now, there is no recommendation on screening for this disease. We have Dr. Deneo Cabele, Washington University gynecologic oncologist at Siteman Cancer Center. She's joining us now with a deeper look into that new data. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. So uh, we, we talked about how uh, we're seeing a higher rate of deaths in black women in particular with this uterine cancer. Tell us a little bit more about uh, this disease and uh, perhaps why it's affecting black women at such higher rates. Well, uterine cancer um, is something that if it's not aggressive can be treated and can be cured. What we're finding, especially amongst black women, is that women are getting diagnosed later with more aggressive disease where it's very hard to treat. Uh, and uh, we're not precisely sure why this is happening, but we're seeing alarming increases in rates of this type of cancer amongst black women in particular. All right, and um, we, we see that there's no recommendation for screening on this as we see for some other things. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get to a certain age, uh, they encourage you to get screened. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the symptoms that women can look for uh, if they are concerned about this, and perhaps what age group should uh, really start to learn more about this? Well, anytime a woman has abnormal bleeding, not on her regular menses or regular period, and especially bleeding after menopause, after that change in life, that is not normal. And we're really encouraging people to recognize those symptoms and to get to their doctors to get those evaluated. We're also encouraging doctors to recognize those symptoms, which sometimes occur in black women who had fibroids that is not cancer. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people misdiagnose a cancer and, and kind of don't pay attention to those symptoms of abnormal bleeding and don't recognize and intervene and diagnose because they think, ah, it's just a black woman with fibroids. Mm. So we have to educate our communities and we have to educate our physicians to recognize these symptoms of abnormal bleeding, particularly after menopause. Okay, gotcha. And so uh, what does Sightman Cancer Center do to help women who might be dealing with this disease or who might uh, think that they, hey, I have those symptoms, I'm having some abnormal bleeding. Uh, what do you all do to help in that? Well, first of all, we are available for um, diagnosis and treatment uh, any physicians and patients who recognize these symptoms. Uh, we also have uh, nine gynecologic oncologists available to treat this type of aggressive uterine cancer with surgery, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and clinical trials. Well, what would you say to anyone who might be hesitant or maybe perhaps afraid to uh, come in and get that screening? I think it's really important to advocate for yourself, to bring a buddy, bring somebody with you, and we're here to help. All right, Dr. Cabela, thank you so much for joining thank us Thank you. Morning. Really we, appreciate it. Yes, my pleasure. We have the website down at the bottom of our screen for you at Two Sightman. We also have a phone number for you. If you would like to hear this information again or uh, get this phone number, visit our website, fox2now.com. We'll have that interview there.